Hi there, so uh, today I'm just going to look quickly at um, uh, integrating R with Hadoop uh, through a product called R Hive. It's a little bit deprecated by now, but um, still works. So um, what I have here is a little Ubuntu machine, um, and um, on there I've uh, of course already created a a uh, um, Hadoop user, HD user, and I've installed Hadoop. So um, you know um, uh, um, the normal Hadoop stuff. I'm just gonna start Hadoop on there. Start also. Um, Hadoop is starting up. It's plain vanilla Hadoop. Uh, I um, got from Apache. Just installed that. Then um, I also installed a uh, a little thing uh, uh, called um, Hive and I think everybody knows Hive and that's the turning your Hadoop uh, giving it that SQL type layer or database type layer so in here I've got a file that I wanted to load into Hadoop and I used an employee example so I've got a bunch of employees in this file and uh, there they are, you know, so that's the basis of it. So inside Hive, I've um, loaded this into um, uh, a table called, um, um, oops, so tables. I've uh, loaded this into a table called uh, emp. So if we describe EMP, we can see that there's an employee number, employee name, job manager, hire date, salary, which is an int and commission and department number. So and then I read that data in there. So select star from EMP. This is standard Hadoop, uh, Hadoop and Hive stuff. So I've loaded the file and I've loaded it into the table. So, you know, that's, that's normal stuff. Uh, um, there's, I've made other videos to show how to do that, but um, uh, um, there's a little bit more here. Sorry, I, of course you can start Hive with um, this Hive service. So um, you know I'm going to start that. There's Hive service two and Hive server two, but for now I'm just going to use this one, the standard one, and that starts up and you know basically. Uh, the the high thrift server starts up and it and it's waiting for SQL connections. So the second tool that I installed is a thing called R console and um, installed R console. It has a few dependencies, but um, once installed and and it's pretty easy to install. It really comes down to R Studio like this. You log in and you see your little. Our session over here, and um, I'm gonna clear this out so that we can um, get get this going. So, so what this is, it's talking to a session, uh, our session on my machine, and um, uh, you know, so the the basic idea here would be to um, you you can see that I installed our Java, our serve. And R, uh, um, sorry, that's a R serve. That R serve is actually incorrect. This R serve, and then I downloaded this R Hive package, um, and I built it. Um, and that was pretty simple from uh, from uh, the, um, from the site. I downloaded that, and then the the basic ideas. I'm going to issue use the R Hive library. Then I'm going to init the connection with a few uh, details. So our, uh, our Hive home, where my Hive is and where my Hadoop is. So I'm going to set those variables and uh, it reads some detail from my machine. We can see that, you know, it reads the location of all the, uh, the, the um, you know, libraries. And then I'm going to connect with Hive server 2 equals false, meaning I, I'll be using the original Hive server. So it does a connection and it comes back and now my R is essentially talking to my uh, my hive in the background this guy who is of course on top of my Hadoop 
so you can see the OKs I've started you know it's it's in verbose at the moment so um, if I go back to here then so um, now I can start doing little queries like I'm gonna select the salary from EMP um, employee um, and I'm just gonna select the salary and I'm gonna put that into a variable called cell and what happens now is it does the execute and in the background you can see it's actually running the map reduce job talking to my Hadoop cluster getting that information out and um, returning the result back to you so if I now look at cell there's all the salaries from that table and of course in uh, um, describe oh no it's not describe it's um, summary cell and I'm not an R expert at all you know so now I can start using functions inside R like if I look at uh, all the salaries I see that the minimums 800 the maximum 5000 you know what's good about this of course is I have a very small amount of data but that could could have been petabytes worth of data that I that I've pulled there and summarized it here in inside R I can do other things like um, uh, I can draw a pie chart around that. Um, uh, let's uh, well, let's just pie table cell. So let's see what that looks like. Oops, um, that would look something like uh, that, and we'll see that there's more people earning in the three thousand, and there's people in that range. You know, you can you can really start you know drawing some graphs out of his data now um, you know I'm gonna let's try and execute the same thing uh, but this time let's just put it in a uh, let's select all the data and we uh, pull it into the all variable and there it is so um, if I summary uh, all then you know here's some data I can see that you know these are all the employee numbers I have eight of them two analysis two clerks three managers a president and a full salesman and you know minimum salary maximum salary we looked at that already commission minimum zero maximum for uh, 1400 mean uh, or the, you know uh, the mean value we have three people in that department and now I can really start analyzing my data and R here to the nth degree, uh, like I said, and and that really comes from um, from working um, with um, you know having or having the ability to pull data into R directly out of my Hadoop uh, cluster. So um, and um, you know you can start really doing crazy things with with R, of course. Well, thank you and. Uh, you know, uh, uh, have fun.